is Sudhir Gattar. I am from AWS squad working on the cloud ops team and my today experimental topic is Terraform. So basically in infrastructure as a code, we mostly use Terraform in, most, in many enterprises because it provides us many features. But there are some issues in implementing Terraform. So we were looking for any tool that resolved that issue and that mainly that problem was that splitting of Terraform state files in basis of different environment. Terraform is a leading ISA tool for many enterprises. Uh, it, it is used as ISA tool for deploying multiple resources on cloud platform like AWS, Azure and Alibaba Cloud. But there were some issues in its implementation as we used to face issue in splitting Terraform state files. So we were using Bash script in our organization to resolve this issue. From long time, we were looking for any tool that can resolve this issue and can bring many more features to the table. So we found a tool called Terraview, which resolved our issue and what we are looking for, this, resolve, this tool resolved that issue. This basically, what it does, it, it provides us the features to split our Terraform split files based on our requirements, like based on the environment and based on the resource configurations. So basically, it also provides us very simple directory structure. We, we do not need to follow any complex directory structure. And it also reduces the code dependency in the code. Like uh, we, we do not have to write same code for the multiple resources we are deploying. We just need to define the that resources in the module and we just need to, to import the resources in our particular directory where we want to import the, those directory. So Teramit addresses this issue with, by providing many features to us like splitting the Terraform code in multiple, based on the multiple environment. Like we can split our Terraform backend file based on the environment like day, vestige and prod. It also helps us in reducing the code duplicacy in the code. So we do not need to write co uh, code every time. We just need to define all the code in module directory. And based on that module directory, we can import that code everywhere in the code. Like we can import in the dev directory, in the stage or in prod. So it greatly helps us in reducing the code dependency in the code. It, it also follow very simple directory structure. Like we, we need to define the models directory and we need to define the stack directory. A stack is basically a directory in which we define all the environment and it can be generated through the command terraform stack. So we found a tool called Terramit. Terramit is an ISA tool which addresses the issue that we were facing in handling our state terraform state backend issue. Terraform state backend play a very important role in, in maintaining infrastructure as code because it contains all the resource configuration, all the details related to the resource. So we are we make we should be very ensure to make that make sure that it should be available in consistent manner and it should be very secure and its naming convention should be up to the right, up to the mark. So through this, we can handle our Terraform backend state very easily. Like we have to just define that uh, backend in our root directory and from that we can import it in anywhere and through naming convention we can follow any uh, any best practices for naming convention it also greatly help in reducing the code reusability it help us to use dry code method so we we do not need to maintain a uh, similar code in all directory we just need to define all the code in one directory and we can import those code in anywhere in any environment so it also provides a feature called a stack change detection and module change detection. Through this, we can ensure that whenever we are making any changes to our uh, Terraform code, so the changes we are making will only apply to the to the resources and this will not be applied. So it makes the execution, execution of the Terraform state better and it also fast the process of applying resources on cloud provider. So going forward to this, let's have a look on the on its implementation part. So in this code, we have maintained a directory called module and inside that we have maintained two direct. We have two directory, EC2 and RDS. EC2 will contain the, all the resource configuration for the EC2 configurations and RDS will contain all the resource configuration related information of the RDS. And in the stack, we have two, we have two directory, that is dev and stage, which, is, which are our environment. So basically, here we will import those directory into dev and stage environment. Through this, import ec2tm.hcl file and through that, Terraform generated EC2 provider and config.tm will be generated through this. And same, we are working on RDS like this only. So we have imported the uh, RDS configurations here in the RDS directory. So this is uh, this is the structure we are following in this. Basically, we maintain import RDS or import EC2. This uh, this basically work in importing the all the content of the resources to the 
stack and through these resources are deployed on the cloud provider uh, going forward to this look have uh, let us have a look at stage directory and stage have the same uh, configuration style rds and it it also it is also has uh, import rds dm.hcl which will import all the file structure from the module directory and based on that we will apply those changes to the then let's have a look at the backend dm.hcl file it generate uh, backend file and this will generate provider.hcl file on the cloud provider and in config.tm.hcl we can change it we can change on the basis of our requirement and uh, you can apply those changes so let's have the resources we have deployed through this and the main solution which we are looking for that for uh, terraform uh, backend backend so we can look at that for every environment we have a bucket like dev ec2 terraform tm state file or dev rds terraform state file so these are the uh, these all are inside a terraform bucket so we have maintained a separate directory for all the uh, resources and for all the environment also so the resources we have created through this was ec2 instance so two instances were created demo instance stage and demo start stage uh, dev so and we have also created two rds you can have look at this Terraform, these, uh, these two resources were created through this uh, Terramet only and uh, it working is also similar to the Terra, Terraform so let's have, uh, let's have a look on its uh, command it uses simple command let's have a look on its command so it basically it's, uh, it's a command Terramet run Terraform in it so basically this uh, command will use to initialize the, all the backend file on which is project on our cloud provider and uh, Similar command we have for Terraform, uh, Terraform plan. So the command we follow the Terraform plan. Hyphen hyphen Terraform plan. This will this this command will uh, plan all the resources that we are going to deploy on AWS or any cloud provider. Provider through this we will be able to uh, kind of dry run all those uh, resources on our local. So we can check what we are going to provide. And similar command we have. You can see that its command working similar to a Terraform. So through Terraform plan command you can see all the resources we are planning and through terraform apply command terraform run terraform, terraform apply command will apply all the resources to the cloud provider so now we have covered our implementation part now we will the benefits of terraform tool and how the, the value we are adding to the customer through this tool so the first point was it's improved our productivity due to its uh, resource management capability and directory structure and its stack benefit the execution of resource become very easy and in, and it enhances the productivity of the resources we are deploying on the AWS. So Terramet follow a modular approach and modular approach and it is very agile as it responds very quick to the business requirement and changes in our infrastructure based on it. So which which play a very important role in developing IC code and it also become very easy for any person or developer working on this tool or deploying any resources through this on any cloud provider. And one more benefit of Terramet is that greatly help in sharing data. Like suppose we are deploying any resources on on dev environment, and while runtime uh, in the while runtime we want to share some data to the other environment, so we can easily do this from Terramet, Terramet which was very complex in, through the Terraform uh, IAC tool. So this tool was assigned to me as, as an experimental task, and I get to learn so much from this, uh, like uh, about the ISC tool and especially about Terramet, its working and its architecture. As a DevOps engineer, it helped, it greatly helped me in maintaining ISC code, also working in different projects. So definitely, we can say that we can use this Terramet tool as a replacement of Terraform tool due to its personality and features, and and due to also its uh, configuration and file structure which become quite easy and also help us in maintaining all those code through IC uh, pipelines and CICD. Thank you for watching this video.